So you're looking to play some retro games on your Amazon Fire Stick. You really can't be bothered trying to configure emulators, about trying to download ROMs. Maybe you don't want to use a game controller. You just want to pick up your standard remote control and start playing straight away. But as you can see on my device, I'm playing this game directly on my Amazon Fire Stick using the remote control as my game controller. It's working absolutely fine. With one click, I can now go ahead and play all of these classic games without requiring any kind of manual configuration. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, uh, take that. Let's get If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so I'm doing my demonstration on the third generation Fire TV Cube, but you can follow this process on any other Amazon device or really even any Android TV device. Let me just finish off these guys. Uh, take that. Okay, let me press the home key. Okay, to start the process, let's open up Downloader. Let's click on that now, which is available directly on the Amazon App Store. If you haven't got that, install that onto your device. And the first time you do install it, when you open it, make sure you give it all of the right permissions, the permissions that it asks for. And before you install any application, just go into the settings, go to where it says MyFi TV. Let's click on that. Go to where it says Developer Options. Now, if you can't see this on your device, if you go back to About, click on that, where you can see your device type. If you press the Select button there seven times, you can see on mine it says I'm already a developer. But if you're doing this for the first time, after seven clicks, it will say you're now a developer. You can then press back and you'll now see this developer option. Let's click on that now. Let's now go to install unknown apps and just set downloader to on. And this just means that you can download applications and install them through downloader. Once you've confirmed that, let's now press the home key. Let's now open up downloader for the first time. And we can now make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Or you can type in this short code 53402 and this will take you directly to my website. Now, whilst waiting for this load, do leave me a comment below. Let me know what was your favorite retro game or your favorite arcade game from the 80s or 90s. I was partial to a bit of Super Mario and of course, Street Fighter. So once you get to my site, let's head over to the hamburger menu. Let's click on that. Let's now click on tutorials and we should now see my tutorial list. Now, quite near the top, depending on when you're watching this video, you should see easy retro gaming. Let's click on that now. I did actually cover this uh, a few months back using a different method, which still does work today. But if somebody's looking for an easier method, particularly if somebody wants to use your remote control as the game controller, I do think this application really is the best one out there. Keep scrolling down. Underneath all of that, we should see two links. So the second one is the previous one, which I did uh, cover before. But in this demonstration, I'm gonna go for the first one, which is called Classic Games. Let's click on that. And many thanks to Patrick, who's one of my channel members in my Telegram support group, where we cover the latest streaming applications, the kind of stuff that we can't talk about on YouTube. We talk about that in our Telegram group. If you do want to join up, do have a look in the video description and pinned comment. Let's scroll down. Let's now click on the screen download button. And this should take us to a page on archive. So this is where he found the application. And for us to make sure we get the latest version, it's best to access it directly from there. So. I now scroll down where it says Android Package Archive. Let's click on that. And I should then start downloading the application on my device. Now you can see it's 390 meg in size because it contains about 25 or 30 games. So a massive bundle, all of your favorite genres, your beat em ups, your racing, your platforms, your fantasy, all of them are included. You can then click on install and that will install the latest version directly onto your device. Once you've done that, let's now press the home key. Now, before we continue, let me just quickly share this QR code that if you are looking for a fantastic offer for a ridiculously fast VPN, stay safe online, change your IP address, access geo-locked content, protect your privacy, you definitely want to go ahead and scan this QR code for a superb discount. Now, of course, if you want to, you can pair up a Bluetooth controller, like maybe an Xbox controller or really any Bluetooth controller. You can pair that up on your device first and use that as your game controller. And this application does support any game controller. So if you're looking for the more truer gaming experience, I would recommend actually pairing that. But in my demonstration, I'm going to use the good old Fire Stick Remote Control. 
Let's start open up the application for the first time. Now when you start the application for the first time, it tells you to basically turn your remote control sideways and then you can navigate, as you can see there, pressing up, down, left and right on the D-pad. Now allow you to navigate up and down. And then you can use your forward key, the play button and the rewind keys for the actual gamepad. Let's go to the left and we can see now we have recently played, which will show you the stuff that you recently played. Then you got action games, you got all of the games here beat em ups, family friendly, multiplayer, platformer, puzzle, Sega Classics, and Sonic Remastered or Remasters. Let's get to the top. Let's click on that. You get to see some information about the game, some of the artwork. I can now click on play. I'm going to go for one player. There you can see on the control, it tells you that the context key is the start select. The back button is to go back. Then you've got the three buttons for A, B, and C. Okay, let's press the start button. Okay, so we're now playing the game. There I am. So I can press the rewind key to punch. Uh, take that. I can down, press down and punch as well. I can do a, a jumping punch. Okay, I want to get that pig. Oh, damn. Okay. I missed that power up. Uh, what does the play button do? Oh, that is a kick. Okay, so I'll go kick this. So go punch, kick, and then jump. Let's see if I can get a power up. Take that. Oh, not looking good. <laughs> but it's working absolutely fine. This really was a great game on the Mega Drive. Um, but we need to get a power up. There you go. Let's pick that up. You can see when I pick that up, I should get a bit, bit bigger. <laughs> that should make me a bit stronger. All right. Now, whilst you're playing the game, you can press the back button. I can now see some options. So you got option to rewind, which is basically like a inbuilt rewind. So I can click on that. So it just rewinds a bit of the game. So if you have made a mistake, you can quickly correct that. Let's get that power up again. Let's press back again. You can obviously save the state. So if you do want to dip in and out of these games, you don't have to go back to the beginning. You can click on save, choose a save slot. And that's now saved. You can see it puts the timestamp there. Let's go back. Let's go to the options. Here, for example, you can see it does have some built-in filters. So I'm using the classic filter. You can smooth out the edges. You can add some scan lines. Let's try smooth. And you can also modify the border art, which are like the bezels. Uh, let's do a TV frame. Okay, let's go back. So we've changed the smoothing and we've also changed the border art. Let's go back. Let's resume the game. Okay, we can see now a nice looking retro TV, but you can see the graphics now they do look smoothed out. So some of you may prefer that slightly smoother look. Uh, I actually prefer the pixels just for that original true retro play. Let's pick up the power up. Okay, looking big, looking really big. Let's see if I can take out these bad guys now. Huh. Let's do a punch. Yeah, classic game. Oh, there's another power up there. Can I get that power up? No, I can't. Okay, let's press back again. Let's go to the options. Uh, let's change this to Graves in the Forest. And let's also change this to Scan Lines. Press back again. Go to Resume. Oh, okay, we can see a very uh, classic looking TV with those Scan Lines. So again, it's up to you, depending on what you prefer. All those options are there. Let's press back. Let's go back to Main Menu. Click on Yes. Okay, we've got High Score. I can just type anything in. Now, the next time I go into that game, you can see at the bottom, it should give me the option to if I go to play. I can now choose that game at the bottom. Now quickly load my state. And I'll carry on playing exactly where I left off. So super easy to use. And this way you really can get through these games a lot quicker instead of starting again from the beginning. So let's back out of that. That was Altered Beast, but you can just see guys, there are lots and lots of your favorite games like Golden Axe. The very, very popular Streets of Rage, Sonic CD, Sonic Spinball, Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, let's try Sonic 1. Click on that. And you can see, guys, the main thing is no messing about with configurations, no messing about trying to find emulators or configure things. Literally just choose a game in the list, click on start, and within a few seconds, you'll be playing that game straight away. Okay, Green Hill Zone 1. So we've got Jump. Now here, for example, I think a game controller might be easy to use because sometimes pressing both these buttons at the same time can be a bit fiddly on the on the remote control, but it does work. 
but definitely would be infinitely easier if you had a, a joypad. Let's get some of these coins. Let's speed up. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> That's working fine. Again, I can press back. Uh, let's go to options. Here, for example, you can see this one doesn't have any options for changing the scan lines or changing the filters or changing the borders. You really can just have hours and hours of fun playing these classic games on your big TV, using your fast remote control and just enjoy all of these classic retro games. So that's pretty much this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you were asking for the easiest way to play some of these retro games, again, without requiring any kind of manual configuration. I do think this particular application, I do think this application definitely ticks those boxes. So do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.